rare mysterious force, which surprised China by capturing strategic height at Pingongso, known as Vickers Battalion, or as Establishment 22. This video is about the Indian unit, known as the Special Frontier Force. We tried to present a brief history of this special force of India. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell. Brief history of Special Frontier Force. The Sino Indian border conflict was a war between China and India. That occurred in 1962, concerning a disputed Himalayan border, which was the main pretext for war, although other issues played a role. There had been a series of violent border incidents after the Tibetan uprising 1959, when India had granted asylum to the Dalai Lama. India initiated a forward policy in which it placed outposts along the border, including several north of the McMahon Line, the eastern portion of a line of actual control proclaimed by Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai in 1959. China was unable to reach political accommodation on disputed territory along the 3,225 kilometers long Himalayan border. So, the Chinese launched simultaneous offensives in Ladakh and across the McMahon Line on 20 October 1962. Chinese troops advanced through Indian forces in both theatres, capturing Rezangla in Chushal in the Western Theatre, as well as Tawang in the Eastern Theatre. The war ended when China declared a unilateral ceasefire on 21 November 1962 and simultaneously announced its withdrawal from the disputed area. Indian posts and patrols were removed from Aksai Chin, which came under direct Chinese control after the end of the conflict. The Indo-China War is notable for the harsh mountain conditions under which much of the fighting took place, entailing large-scale combat at altitudes of over 14,000 feet. The Indo-China War was also noted for the non-deployment of the Navy and Air Force of either side. Consequently, the Special Frontier Force SFF, was formally established on 14 November 1962, just seven days before the ceasefire. After India suffered defeat in the 1962 war with China, the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru decided to raise an all-Tibetan armed unit to stop the Chinese PLA's regular intrusion into the Indian Territory. On the advice of Intelligence Bureau, founder director Bola Nath Mullik and World War II veteran Biju Patnaik. The first Inspector General of the SFF was a retired Indian Army Major General, Suyan Singh Yuban, who was known for his unconventional thinking. In 1962, the Kennedy administration worked with India for the creation of a Special Frontier Forces unit in the Indian military following the 1962 Sino-Indian border war. India also set up a 10,000-strong unit called the Special Frontier Force or Establishment 22, composed of ethnic Tibetans and modeled on the U.S. Army's Green Berets. They were trained to operate deep behind Chinese lines in the Tibetan Autonomous Region. This unit still exists, although it remains unclear whether it has preserved its elite status. Its main goal was to conduct covert operations behind Chinese lines in the event of another Indo-China war. By the late 1960s, the SFF was organized into six battalions for administrative purposes. Each battalion, consisting of six companies, was commanded by a Tibetan who held rank equivalent to a lieutenant. Since the SFF consisted largely of Tibetans, they were viewed as an ideal CT force because they were not directly related to India's communal politics. Among the Tibetan members of the SFF, three commando battalions were raised for deployment around India. One of these battalions is normally stationed on the Siachen Glacier with other Indian troops. The remaining SFF personnel were still trained for guerrilla operations along the Indochina border. Role and Purpose of SFF This special force has participated in several operations, 
both covert and overt, such as Operation Eagle, securing Chittagong Hills during the Bangladesh War of 1971. Operation Blue Star, Operation Megdoot, establishing India's control over the Siachen Glacier in 1984. And Operation Vijay, Kargil War, in 1999. However, the SFF has developed and expanded into other mission profiles, including counter-terrorism operations. They also participated in the assault on Golden Temple, but the mission was to prove faulty due to a lack of intelligence on the militants' whereabouts in the temple locality. And also trained for anti-hijack operations. India did create a true special forces setup, which intelligence led in the Special Frontier Force, which was originally created for operations in Tibet. But it has now become obsolete, and it is not clear what the mission of the force currently is. General Duties of Special Frontier Force The general duties of the forces is, parachuting onto ground, or into water. Climbing ladders, and cliffs. Repelling conducting close quarters battle, and battle drills in varying types of terrain, and climatic conditions day or night. More than 5,000 Tibetans were trained by the CIA and the Intelligence Bureau. Naturally adapted to the extreme weather and geographical conditions of the Himalayas. The recent action, along the LAC, by the Tibetan warriors, extremely loyal to the Dalai Lama. This force not only rattled China, but shown that the bully can be defeated in its own old game. This mysterious force surprised China by capturing strategic height at Pingongso. The social media is a buzz about the covet special frontier force, which outsmarted the PLA and managed to take control of strategic height on the southern bank of Pingongso in eastern Ladakh. The Special Frontier Force has developed formidable covert capabilities, and in future, we could see more action against those who are threat to India.